I've been redesigning a series of old OCs based on sea creatures. Today's victim is the Stingray, and the first boy I've redesigned of this set so far. Some details I knew I wanted to keep were his long ponytail, the spots on his top, and the overall silhouette of the big top with the smaller bottoms. But I did want to change his top a bit to look more like an actual fashion piece someone might actually wear. <laughs> I knew I wanted his sleeves to look a bit more like kimono sleeves, as I thought that would create the wide, kind of pancake-like shape I was going for, while also being kind of fashionable and fun. The original drawing of the character was half body, which means that I had to completely come up with his shoes from scratch. But coming up with his shoes was pretty easy, because the kimono sleeves and shorts automatically made me think of sandals. I also played around with some different shapes for his hair, because originally it was very sleek and neat, almost looked like it was glued against his head, and I didn't like that so much, I wanted to add a little bit to it, but I wasn't sure how much more messy I wanted to make it. I ended up going with something a bit more fluffy to give him a sort of cute and playful look. His original color palette was very gray, and I'm not really sure why, because he was based on the Spotted Eagle Ray, the same type of ray as Mr. Ray in Finding Nemo, which is a type of ray that's a deep navy blue. So I definitely wanted to intensify his colors and make him fit the sea creature a little better. The colors of this stingray are absolutely beautiful, so I definitely wanted that deep blue to come through. I also added a sort of tan or khaki color to his design to allude to the color of the stingray's tummy. The color I did go for is a little darker than the actual stingray, but I didn't want the color to blend in too much with his skin, so that's why I darkened it a bit. Overall, I love his nude color palette. I think it looks really nice, and I love that deep navy blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, after all. I really tried to push the shape language of this character and intensify that silhouette with the large top part that's fully pancake shaped, contrasted with his little shorts and bare legs that creates a good contrast between the top and bottom half of the character design.
A lot of rays spend most of their time on the floor within the sand, but eagle rays will swim or fly around the sea, which is probably where they get the name eagle from. So it's only fitting for this character to be very outgoing, the kind of guy who talks to everybody and everyone seems to know, and I definitely see him having a fun, silly, kind of cheeky personality. Stingrays are apparently very playful animals too, so it fits. The tail of stingrays can be very dangerous, of course, and it's probably not a good idea to swim with them, but they're mostly harmless animals. They really don't hurt anybody, at least not intentionally. So I figure this character is probably really sweet, doesn't mess with anyone, but nobody really messes with him because he could be dangerous if he really wanted to. I also imagine this guy having a bit of a shy side that doesn't show very often, but is pretty cute when it does. Maybe he's not quite as perfect and confident as he seems to be on the outside. If I remember correctly, I think this character was supposed to be Chinese when I first created him, but I don't really see these characters as having specific races. I mean, they are just fish, so I'd rather leave that up for interpretation. Feel free to come up with your own headcanons about where these different characters came from or anything like that. I'd love to hear any of your theories or ideas in the comments as well. I don't know if this makes sense, but I feel like he ended up kind of looking like a Pokemon trainer, which I'm not complaining about. I think it's very fun.
I think this kid has become one of my favorites of this set. I love his fun energy and I just think he's completely adorable. I think his design is a good mix between simplicity and complexity. It's not too complicated but has just the amount of unique design it needs to really be fun and memorable. I hope you like him too and enjoyed watching me recreate him using the character design knowledge and skills I've grown throughout these 8 or 9 years since I originally designed him. I hope you will look forward to the next characters I design too. I'll be tackling the jellyfish next, and then the sea turtle, who both have stories who kind of go together, so I hope you'll enjoy that little duo. I decided to stick with the name Ray for this guy, because it is an actual name, and I think it's perfectly suited for him still. If you enjoy this kind of content, there will be plenty more to come, so please stick around for more, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I do read and try to reply to every single comment. Thanks for stopping by my comfy little bear cave, and I'll see you next time.